alsanda with prawns hi welcome to sanjeev kapoor khazana i'm rupa here i'm going to show you a different sprout preparation today it's called as alsande it's similar to the black eye beans it's available only on the konkan strip so we are going to make a preparation of it with prawns called as alsande with prawns so let's go ahead and look at the ingredients sprouts prawns tomato which is chopped onions finely chopped grated coconut peppercorns coriander seeds cloves stanis cinnamon dry red chilies chili powder turmeric powder garam masala salt to taste oil for cooking okay so let's begin we'll start cooking the sprouts and then the masala has to be ground together so then we'll simultaneously do with the masala to begin with let's start cooking the sprouts take a deep pan pour some oil about a tablespoon the oil is nice and hot let's add the onions not all of the onions because we'll require for making the masala add about half the quantity of the onion and saute saute till it becomes translucent once it's gone translucent add the sprouts just add a little turmeric powder give it a mix add about a cup of water the sprouts take a longer time to cook so we are not adding the prawns immediately let this be half cooked so let's cover and cook this on simmer for about 5 to 10 minutes till then let's marinate the prawns so the prawns are there let's add some salt to it again a little bit of turmeric and the chili powder give it a mix and leave it aside till the sprouts are cooking As the sprouts are cooking, as I said, they take a little longer time. You can even pressure cook them, but I'm not very happy because they become very mushy. So don't do that. Till they're cooking, and we've marinated the prawns, whole masala with the coconut. So take a flat pan, add about a tablespoon of oil. Once the oil is nice and hot, start adding the whole masala, some peppercorns, four to five, two to three cloves. a stanis the dry red chilies the coriander seeds and about half a inch of cinnamon just fry them as they start popping out add the onions you get a nice fragrance of the whole masala frying so that's the trick of this dish it gives lot of freshness when you make your masala and ground it and put it so just roast it with the onions till it goes nice and brown in color the onions are going brown as you can see let them go a little darker on the side and then we can add at this stage the grated coconut and fry the coconut till it goes brown Okay the masala is nicely fried as you can see don't go a little dark on the coconut because it will lose its flavor you can take it aside and when it's cold you can grind it to a paste so let's keep it aside we have fried the masala and we have kept it for cooling till it's ground to a paste to add to the sprouts till then we have got back the sprouts so let's check them they are semi cooked now at this stage we'll add the tomatoes and the prawns so give it a mix add the tomatoes we didn't add the tomatoes before because the sprites will take a longer 
we didn't add the tomatoes before because being acidic it will take a longer time for the sprouts to cook in the tomatoes so at this stage let's add the tomatoes and fry till the tomatoes go a little soft add the prawns and give it a nice mix add some water adjust the water because we don't want the gravy to be very watery it's a little semi solid preparation it's surprising that prawns and sprouts are eaten for breakfast but traditionally this is eaten for breakfast with a bread which is known as undes it's a nice crispy bread so don't make it very watery adjust the water as and when required for the sprouts to cook and the gravy to be nice and thick not very watery so let's cover and cook for another 5 minutes till the prawns cook and the sprouts go a little more soft the masala which we have fried should be ground to a paste so let's take it in a mixer and grind it to a nice fine paste yeah as you can see the masala is ground to a nice fine nice color it's given to the masala so let's keep this aside and check with the sprouts again prawns have cooked as you can see they've changed their color let's check on the sprouts yeah the sprouts are also cooking so what we do is we'll add a little garam masala go a little low on it just for the flavor because we've already added the whole masala so let's not make it very strong we've already added salt to the prawns so a little go low with the salt also give it a mix and add the ground masala mix well adjust the water if required cover and cook for another 5 minutes the alsande with prawns is done as you can see the masala is giving a nice aroma and there's a nice separation of oil at this stage you understand the masala is cooked and the gravy has to be semi solid and the prawns don't take a long time to cook so let's take it out in a serving bowl The alsandes with prawns is ready as you can see. I've got fond memories of it having it for a Sunday breakfast with a nice crispy bread called as undes there. Today also in the Goa territories you get this as a traditional breakfast in the restaurants small ones and on a Sunday it's a real lovely breakfast to have it with bread. It's got prawns and sprouts a ready wholesome breakfast. I hope you make it and serve it.